Hello, maybe you're asking, why Egypt is building a new capital? Here in Sheriff, we'll explain everything about the new administrative capital of Egypt. So, let me say first, what is the new capital? It's a smart administrative capital for urban development that introduces a modern concept of residence and is expected to accommodate 18 million to 40 million people by 2050. Egypt is switching its capital city from Cairo to a brand new constructed city new administrative capital. So now let's explain why Egypt is building a new capital city. Egypt is building the new capital to create many opportunities for housing and employment, putting in mind that Egypt's population will almost double in the next 40 years. The goal is also to eliminate the crowdedness that is one of the biggest problems now in Cairo because of the increasing population. The city aims to address the various issues facing Egypt and provide a distinct quality of life. The government is seeking a way that adapts to the conditions of population growth and civilization. All levels of income and culture are welcomed in the smart city to keep up with the world's developing pace. The new administrative capital is a new urban community in Cairo Governorate, Egypt, in a satellite of Cairo City. It is planned to be Egypt's new capital and has been under construction since 2015. It was announced by the then Egyptian housing minister Mustafa Madbouli at the Egypt Economic Development Conference on March 13, 2015. The capital city is considered one of the programs and projects for economic development and is part of a larger initiative called Egypt Vision 2030. You may be wondering where is the new capital city of Egypt? The new administrative capital is located on the border of Badr City, between Cairo Suez and Cairo Alain Sakna Roads, just after New Cairo, Future City, and Madinati. The Suez Road and Mohammed bin Zayed Axis are the main roads leading to the new capital. The city will become the new administrative and financial capital of Egypt, housing the main government departments and ministries and foreign embassies. On 700 square kilometers, 270 square miles, total area, it would have a population of 6.5 million people, though it is estimated that the figure could rise to 7 million. The new capital is planned to consist of a government administrative district, a diplomatic quarter, a cultural district, a central business district, CBD, and 21 residential districts. Out of a total of 170,000 fedans, Phase 1 covers 40,000 fens, less than a quarter of the allocated land, and is due to be partially operational in 2022, six years after construction first started. The city will also have a central park, artificial lakes, about 2,000 educational institutions, a technology and innovation park, 663 hospitals and clinics, 1,250 mosques and churches, a 90,000-seat stadium, 40,000 hotel rooms, a major theme park four times the size of Disneyland, 90 square kilometers of solar energy farms, an electric railway link with Cairo and a new international airport at the site of the Egyptian Air Force's existing Wadi al-Jandali airport. And also, you may be wondering about finance and construction, so let me explain the when the project was officially announced in March 2015, the work started on building a road from Cairo to the site of the future capital. Egypt signed a new model with China State Construction Engineering Corporation CSCC, to study building and financing the administrative part of the new capital, which will include ministries, government agencies, and the president's office. However, CSCC signed agreements with Egyptian authorities in 2017 to only develop CBD. This left the Egyptian government to finance and manage most of the construction, setting up the Administrative Capital Urban Development Company ACUD, on April 21, 2016, an Egyptian joint stock company whose major shareholders are the Ministry of Defense, National Service Projects Authority and the Armed Forces Projects Authority holding 51% by the in-kind contribution of the land, and the Ministry of Housing's New Urban Communities Authority, NUCA, holding 49% of the shares via Capital Injection of EGP 20 billion, 2.2 billion US dollars in 2016, 
and an authorized capital of EGP 204 billion, 22 billion US dollars. ACUD manages the planning, subdivision, infrastructure construction, and sale of land parcels in conjunction with the new Administrative Capital Development Authority, affiliated with NUCA, as the latter does with its other new towns. All these points make the new capital the future of Egypt and one of the most innovative investment projects for real estate development in Egypt. This massive construction project is expected to grow from 18 million to 40 million by 2050 and will introduce a new concept of the nature of residential life in Egypt. Because the project raises the curiosity of many investors and real estate seekers. Finally, the administrative capital is an urban bridge that creates a political, economic, and cultural entity in the Middle East and North Africa region, to provide a prosperous economic climate, an infrastructure that is the nucleus of good living, and sustainable development.